Okay, this question, there's another battery. Okay, EMF 9 volt and the internal resistance one. And it is fixed to a fixed resistor of resistance 5 ohm. Okay, you got 5 ohm here. And then you have a potential meter of maximum resistance 3 ohm. 3 ohm is here. Okay, noted. Roll call, everyone is here. This one you everything. The sliding contact of the potential meter is moved over a full range of movement. So this means the sliding contact can be here. And the sliding contact can be anywhere here. And finally, it can also be here. Okay, here, here. What is the maximum value of the potential difference that is measured by the voltmeter? Okay, so let's look at position one. Important thing to understand about the voltmeter is that it has connections. Like all politicians, it has connection. Connection, ah. So if you look at this connection, let's say I put this here, and then you look at the other connection, what we are seeking for is the energy conversion between these two connections. Is there energy, any energy conversion? No, right? Because there's nothing. Nothing. Just emptiness. So at this point, when the slider is at this point, you get zero volt. Okay, no. Let's move our slider to this point. Now, if the slider can move to this point, then let me change the color. The energy conversion for the green one is here to here. It is across 3 ohm. So it's definitely not zero volt already. Okay, let's say this is V. And I want to find the potential difference across here to here. This is my V. This is the V that I'm looking for. Teacher, ratio is your best friend, correct? Lah? So let's say I have the resistance of 3.0 ohm. And I want to find the potential difference of this resistance. And I need to compare with somebody else that shares the same current. Good news, this thing is, per is series. Everybody has the same current. So I can compare with one, I can compare with five. But I kind of don't really want to compare with one and five because I don't know the potential difference across one. Neither do I know the potential difference across five. And I would like to not look for it if I can. But I know this nine. You see, you guys, this nine oh, is for the whole thing, right? This nine volt is for the entire circuit. Very nice, very nice. So the entire circuit got who? Uh? Internal resistance one, the five ohm, and then the three ohm. Because this current will flow through all three of this resistor. No problem. Same current. So from here, you will get V as, I guess, 3 over V is 9 over 9. So V is 3.0 volt. The answer is A. Learn to use the potential divider method. There's definitely one or two or several questions that will come out in your AS. Important skill. It's about dividing and sharing the potential. Just like how we divide and share the goodness of physics knowledge with you.